Federal regulators say mixing and matching vaccines is safe and effective. Tonight, experts tell me in some cases, mixing gives you broader, better protection. Right now, seniors and younger adults at high risk due to a job or health condition are eligible for a COVID booster. You can get the shot six months after completing the Pfizer or Moderna regimen and two months after getting the Johnson & Johnson vaccine. While the FDA has approved mixing and matching brands, they're not necessarily recommending it. There's a logical advantage to mix in some cases and not in others. With many confused, Aid on Your Side is speaking with experts, including Moffitt's Dr. John Green and Tampa General's Dr. Jason Wilson to help you make the right decision. Yeah, so if you got the J&J &J vaccine, uh, the best outcome for you is to get either a Pfizer or a Moderna vaccine. Probably makes some sense. Why? A smaller NIH study showed J&J recipients had more antibodies after getting a Moderna or Pfizer booster. But what if you originally had Moderna or Pfizer, one of the mRNA vaccines? There's no way for me to tell you which is better to do. We don't have that level of data. My preference is to stick with the same one you had. For now, experts say stick with your original mRNA vaccine unless you had a complication. We asked Dr. Green about the real world implications of a study that showed those who received Moderna had a higher antibody response than Pfizer. Is there any evidence that the Moderna booster is going to give us better protection or longer protection? There is no proof that one is necessarily dramatically better than the other. Some of my colleagues who understand all this science at a high tech level may prefer Moderna because they think it gives me a little slight advantage. And doctors tell me that it's rare, but different vaccines can have different possible side effects. For example, if you're a young man with a history of inflammation of the heart, you may opt to get a J&J booster instead of the mRNA vaccine. So as always, your doctor is going to be the one to make the final call here. Keith. All right. Thank you, Masa.